So, I'm going surfing in Barbados in a very rattly road in a part of the west coast that I've known since I was six. I've been coming here since I was six. But I was always told never to go in the water here. So we're going around Bathsheba. When I was six, I uh, was on the beach there and I was running around the waves, trying to escape the waves. And I fell, fell into the water. And my mum very definitely told me, no, never going in the water there again. So it's a little bit intimidating being told I'm going surfing there. I haven't been surfing a lot. I know the theory, but I'm being taken out by a regular surfer in that area, Dominic, who tells me I'll be fine. I'm a good swimmer, so that bit's fine. It's just the surfing that's going to be interesting. When I fell in the water when I was six, I didn't have any swimming clothes on, I was just in my regular shorts. My mum was cross, the same way that mums often are when you do things that you're told not to do. So she did what every mother does to every six-year-old boy and takes off the wet clothes and told me I just had to sit there on a towel in the back and be naked. However, to save my face, save embarrassment in case, and I don't know why I thought anyone recognised me, but just in case anyone recognised me, I figured the best way to be able to keep my anonymity I had a bum bag on and sunglasses, so not much has changed, still got my sunglasses on, wearing slightly more than a bum bag today. The main reason we're going out here is I'm putting together a film with Dominic on coffee. He is a coffee roaster, he owns, runs, he is the director of coffee for Wyndham's Coffee, who are just an outstanding quality coffee maker. I suspect this film will come out before the Wyndham's one, so keep an eye out for that. But because he's a keen surfer and because a lot of his coffees, his coffee blends are named for surfing areas in Barbados, nearly hit an egret. Because they're named for areas in Barbados, we're going to go surfing. He's invited me to go surfing in the soup bowl, which is one of his coffees. And uh, yeah, we're going to get some footage. So at the very least, I'm going to get some footage on the drone with the GoPro from the shore, but I would like to go surfing, so it'll be fun. Right, let's get to Super Bowl. That church is falling down because of major subsidence. You can see the cracks in the building. But the problem is they can't tear it down because it's a church and there's no money to rebuild it. So it's just going to be left until it falls down of its own accord. So, I'm here. <coughs> now I just need to go and find Dominic. He may have parked somewhere else. The surf looks... interesting. There's a lot of people out here. I'm hoping we're not going to be fighting with too many of the other people. But it looks good. Looks like fun. I am quite nervous. But it's, it's not manly to be nervous, it's manly to be brave and confident, right? For sure.
hope you can hear me over the uh, sea noise. But I did it. Sort of. I caught my first wave at Bathsheba. I didn't pop up, didn't stand. I just enjoyed the feeling of being caught by an eight foot wave swept down its face and feeling in control of my direction. I think I've decided I like the idea of surfing. I like the surfing in but I'm hungry. Just ask me if I'm hungry. As Dominic says, nothing worth doing doesn't come with work in the beginning. So I don't think I've been as exhausted as I was after paddling out in a long time. That was I'm a good swimmer, but I normally use my legs. So paddling in, just using my arms, going through every break. That was hard work. But the hard work was worth the reward. Well, the reward was worth the hard work. I'm done. I'm going to go get some food. Don't make first, I'm hungry. I'm going to go get some food with Dominic. I'm out. I really hope this is recording. Yeah. So, tell me where we were? Parlor. Parlor Bashba. Okay. Why is it Parlor, not Bathsheba? Because Bashba is the area. Okay. Parlor is the, just the name of the wave. Okay. Bashba is the area we were surfing. So, okay. Suitable Bashba, Parlor is Bashba. Okay. Parlor is Parlor. Okay. I probably could find you Sea Cat. And sea cat could probably tell you all about it. Okay. I have no idea what that's, that's called flat top out there. Okay. I could not tell you how or why they're named. I can only know what, why it's called Bathsheba is because, no, that's cattle wash. Yeah, cattle wash is where they used to wash the cattle. cattle. Which, as a kid, I was trying to remember the name of it and called it cow bath. Cow bath. <laughs> In my head. It's pretty much the same. Makes sense, yeah. 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 Cattle wash, cow bath. Pretty much the same thing. And soup bowl. But well, it is like a bowl of soup. No, I, I, the whole point is it bowls. It's like that's one of the best things about that wave. Is yeah. So the reformation, when the wave hits it correctly, it just literally turns. It just it wraps around instead of it being a straight wave. It just wraps around and gently wraps around. So when you're surfing okay. this wave, you get this perfect A frame. Yeah. It's just boom, straight into the bowl. Maybe I have no idea. I just made that up. If you want to be a rock star, go to art school. If you, no, if you want to be a rock star, just go rock out. Don't but go then, to school. But then look at how many people, like if you look at Bowie, Jagger, Keith Richards... So uh, they finished art school. No, but they went. They went, exactly. They went. They went so. And so that's where you meet other like-minded people that want to express themselves. Exactly. Yeah. So no, but I guess the whole point for me was like, I went to art school, didn't like it, because I was writing music at art school. And I went to music school and I didn't like it because I couldn't write music. I was being taught to do it where you're all like, do this, do that. And I'm like, I just want to rock. So that didn't really work the right way. Then I applied to fashion school, got accepted in London. And then my life career changed and I put all my efforts into coffee. And so, I, but coffee is interesting in that because you can, it is such a tactile thing. Why? I, it's when you. It's kind of like writing in coffee in all general. Things. If you don't have a reference point, or most people's reference point is instant coffee, yeah. bitter, black, yeah. and so it, it makes it a little bit harder. What I actually do is I talk about we have a we have a local drink called Mobby. Yeah. So Mobby, right? So I always say, do you drink Mobby from the bark or from the syrup? Correct. And mostly everyone says they drink Mobby from the syrup. I said, well, yeah, but if you drink Mobby from the bark and you then translate it like that, they, they then can put coffee in that context. Correct. And then it helps them, you know, get to it. So, But then event, in the end, it comes, once you make them a good coffee, they go, okay. And I'm not even against, so say, like, when people talk about no milk and no sugar, and I'm like... If you're putting milk and sugar to mask something, yeah. that's a bad thing. But if you're putting milk and, or milk and or sugar or a sweetener yeah. to help enhance, 
Yeah. That's nothing. That's just like that's being a chef. There's nothing yeah. right with me. Yeah. I'd have no problem taking an uh, egg yeah. and adding salt to it. It enhances the flavor. If I have to put too much of something to hide flavor, that's the bad thing. And that's kind of nice. I had them do already. You know, just do whatever makes you, you happy. The Americano here. So we just had what I think of as probably one of the best fish tacos I've ever had at uh, that straight Eco Lifestyle Lodge. Absolutely amazing. They look beautiful. And sometimes I think a lot of food suffers from style over substance. That they look beautiful and they taste beautiful. So I'm definitely going to go back there for more fish tacos. And I had an amazing coffee there too. So oh, I should have done. He made it. He made the coffee. So what, so what difference do the different boards make? Because it's something, I, I look at them and I look at them from a point of view of aesthetics. Right. And I think, like the one that you were on, the split tail. Yeah, Sw swallowtail. Swallowtail. I think that's just pretty. Well, no, swallowtail actually has a really um, important function in terms of, it allows you to turn and hold rails a lot more okay. versus if it was like a, if it was a rounded pin, yeah. rounded pin would be fantastic for if you were doing really big gaping cutbacks. Yeah. But swallowtail allows you to get really tight into turns. So yeah, it does look nice, but it does actually truly have a function in that yeah. sense. It has a lot more volume in it. It has a lot yeah. more, it's big enough and thick enough so that where the waves don't provide you enough power or enough wave face, yeah. you're able to use the rails to catch the wave and actually surf the wave. Okay. Where if I was using a, what, say if I was surfing a, I guess what you would consider a thruster and a, you know, professional, well, best, lack of a better word, a professional surfboard, yeah. they that would sink. I wouldn't be able to, I would catch a wave and it would just sink. I wouldn't be able to yeah. do any turns because there's just not, there's not enough volume in it um, and all that. So you, different, and then if anything, I would just pull up the, I'd pull up my paddle board. My SUP, yeah. you know, out here is actually one of the best places to SUP because you know you have great waves. They don't break as fast. It's all fun, but there's not enough long enough wave for me to surf the SUP, so I'm not going to do that today. That thing is going to be my gato. Right. I think it might be drone time.
So folks, that's a wrap. Um, got the footage that I needed for the video that I'm doing about Wyndham's Coffee. And like I said, I don't actually, I, I have no idea how much my audio actually worked because I realized that my lead was loose, but I don't know whether it was loose all the way through. I haven't had a chance to look at the footage yet. Uh, so I'll see how that's looking when I get back. Um, but in case I missed it, yeah, I was exhausted. That was one of the hardest things that I've ever done, but also one of the most fun and most satisfying. Um, I'm a good swimmer, but I'm used to using my legs. So actually they were big waves. And he, he says they weren't big waves and I'm sure that's right, but they were big waves for me. Um, but it was amazing fun. Uh, only actually caught one wave back in because I knew that I wouldn't be able to then paddle back out once I'd caught a wave in. Um, and then we went for amazing fish tacos at the Eco Hotel and Lodge. And that was yeah, thoroughly recommended. If you're coming out to Barbados, go there. It's just next to the Atlantis Hotel. Um, they do an amazing brunch on a Sunday by all accounts. Reservations recommended. Um, so I'm now heading home and yeah, I'm just, I'm knackered. I'm so tired and so happy. Such good fun. And then spent ages just flying the drone trying to get good shots and then the biggest challenge is I was trying to get shots of Dominic but of course it's really difficult to work out which one's Dominic when he's out in the water um, so I'm hoping I've got some decent footage I think I also got some lots of other footage of other people surfing um, yeah thank you very much for watching uh, like if you'd like to subscribe if you'd like to and haven't already I this notification bell thing I think is it to do with the um, Oh, what's it called? It, to do with the algorithm. Uh, I'm assuming it's a little bit like uh, Instagram, where everyone was putting up posts saying, make sure you notify me, because else you won't get to see it. But I still get to see the ones I want to see. So if you'd like to put the bell on, that would be great. If not, it's fine. And uh, I'm going to drive home safely now. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.